Hey guys, I just wanted to jump on here really quick and share with you one of the biggest mistakes that people tend to make when they're starting a new fitness routine or coming into the new year restarting a new fitness routine. And that is they like to get on the treadmill, right? You feel like you're being so good if you're standing on the treadmill and you're just getting in this nice steady rhythm or maybe it's the elliptical machine. You get to watch your TV show while you're just moving along. And what happens is you do what's called steady state cardio, which is good for your body. It's good that you're moving, getting your heart rate up. But if your goal is to lose weight, if your goal is to increase your lean muscle mass, and if your goal is to burn fat, then that's probably not as effective for your time that you're spending. A much more efficient way to use your time is to do what's called HIT training. And what that stands for is high intensity interval training. You're probably familiar with it. It has become a really popular way to work out. And it's because it's actually more efficient and takes less time to do. I mean, win-win. If you're a busy mom like me, that is exactly what you're looking for. Give me something that gets more results in less time. HIIT training has been proven to be more effective at burning calories, burning fat, boosting your metabolism, even sometimes building muscle. And so we use this a lot when we, in our new program that we are just launching right now, it's only open for a short period of time. And so if you're interested in learning more about how to build a fitness routine that takes you less time to do and is more efficient and gets you faster results, then this is something you're gonna to wanna to do with me. And we start from where you are. So it doesn't matter if you're a beginner, it doesn't matter if you haven't worked out in ages or haven't ever worked out at all. We start from where you are and we build up with building blocks using the four fundamentals of fitness. So if that's something that interests you, I encourage you to jump on. You don't have very much time, but in the meantime, I wanna give you one quick workout that you can do today. And this is just to show you how easy it is to do a hit work, hit workout wherever you are, whatever you're doing, okay? So I'm just gonna step back here. I'm gonna pick two different movements that we're gonna do, and you're gonna do them for 30, 30, and then rest for 30. And you're just gonna repeat it four times. So the first movement is just a squat jack, okay? And there's two different ways that you can do this. So it's a jack and I want you to drop, put your butt back, kind of lift up with the chest, okay? Now, if you can't go all the way down, one way to modify it is to stay up higher, okay? And then another modifier is to just take out the jack, okay? So three different ways that you can do that movement. 30 seconds on that one, and then the next one is just gonna be a good old fashioned burpee. And you'll just do this by doing, I'm gonna make sure I've got room behind me, jump up, down, come back to a plank, up, push. Now, if you want to add a little bit of a strength component to it, you'll jump, come down, do a push up, up, lift. Now, I don't have one with me, but a great modifier to this is if you have a chair, not the back of a chair, but the base of a chair, you can do the burpee from there and you don't have to go all the way to the floor. So modifications can be done all over the place. So do each of those movements for 30 seconds each, then take a 30 second break, repeat it four times. That's gonna give you a six minute workout. It's gonna boost your metabolism. It's gonna energize your day. Give it a try.